So for today, we're going to be looking at week eight for the seasonal challenges plus Eververse. Uh, unfortunately, there is no story anymore, so we will just have to be doing these seasonal challenges for the weekly. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. So for the first one, it's Seraph Shield 3. Complete the exotic mission Operation Seraph Shield on Legend Difficulty. Uh, defeat, com com ugh, defeat combatants with precision damage anywhere in the system using pulse rifles. This one's not hard. Actually, it's really funny considering Legend difficulty for Seraph Shield is actually easier when you solo it because the health scales when you have more people. So I would just say do it on your own. It, you don't even have to solo flawless it, just solo it. It's not that hard if I'm being quite honest. Uh, I do have a video, I think, up of me solo flawlessing it. So if you guys want to see, it's right here. But it's with a hunter with warlock and titan it's easier because uh you have options of healing and tanking stuff better than hunters so yeah not hard getting pulse rifle kills uh precision at that anywhere in the system easy just use a pulse rifle flawless heist complete heist battlegrounds in playlist or legend heist battlegrounds without dying this one i just kind of got, got got casually just playing the game so this one shouldn't be too hard just make sure you're super careful with things and yeah if you really need help just make sure you have like healing or exotics that give you healing there's a bunch of them for all the classes or there's a bunch of them for the other classes and i think like really only one two technically for the hunter serif calibration calibrate pulse rifles fusion rifles and power grenade or yeah power grenade launchers rapid de rapidly defeating combatants and defeating guardians will award bonus points or progress this one is not hard you definitely are going to combine it with the pulse rifle for server shield these two can be pretty much done anywhere so anywhere you're really doing i will most likely like would do it with like a close range calibration type thing where or europa activities you can probably do either of these that way you can like double up with it uh Gambit Ornament, acquire the Gambit Ornament for Veles X. This one's not hard, it's just you gotta play Gambit and I know a lot of people don't like to do that. Trial by Firing Squad, win multiple rounds in Trials of Osiris. This one also is gonna be really annoying because you have to win Trials rounds, not matches, rounds. So, I mean, it's not super duper hard, but 20 is really annoying when uh, Trials is trash. So I'm just gonna say that right now. As for Eververse, <clears throat> We have the Neopop Wave. This shader is definitely going to be used a lot next season just because it's it's like a. Uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, my God. It's, a, it's like a, almost like a cyberpunk uh, Neo uh, techno look. And it, obviously people are going to be using this when uh, the next expansion is literally just like this color. So yeah sorry that took a while but totally forgot i was spacing out vex incursion entrance we have winning streak which is a pretty cool like it, i actually like how it looks don't get me like it looks and it actually shaders wow i was not expecting it to shader like at all oh why does that go hard though that looks cool i'm guessing these lights are actually like attached and it's not just like whatever's i know that makes no sense but um it's like these lights right here are actually attachments and not just like holographic like the rest of it is what i'm trying to say dance off which ooh, i might pick that up just because i like this part um specifically for like my Instagram reels or not reels, but my Instagram pictures for when I'm doing a, uh, uh, like, yeah, I'll show it right now because I've been meaning to tell you guys that I, I started posting on Instagram again and hopefully I'm actually like consistently doing it. We have three glowing dawns for the, uh, what the fuck is this one called? The Trinity ghoul, which is, it actually looks really cool if it, oh, never mind. I was going to say if it takes shaders really well, but I don't know. Yeah, 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 it does. It shouldn't take shaders. No, weapons don't take shaders. It's only exotics. Okay. Or the armor exotics. So white and gold is not bad. Like it's definitely a good color to go for. Um, that being said, I don't know. We'll, see. we'll, we'll look at Trinity gold just to see the other ornaments. We have the, uh, arc armor, specifically the boots. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely pick it up. 
I will be definitely be picking this up just because I like, well, I mean, obviously I got to make a video on it, but this specifically, the boots for the hunter, I like the back skirt. I think that's super cool. And I'm definitely going to make a set around that. We have the M3D1 Angelos, which it looks cool. It definitely looks cool. Um, My only sh like, like my only like gripe with sparrows is just they're way too much for like yeah, it's 2,500 Bright Dust, which doesn't sound like a lot, but like that's a lot for a Sparrow that doesn't really do anything. It's purely cosmetic um, and not even a good cosmetic. And like, I don't know, they just need to do a little bit more. It's cool because it's like medic themed. You can, you have the gurney right there or whatever that thing is called. You have the like the uh, the crosses. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm, actually, let me see with a red one, like a good round one, though, like a like a red and white dog, like, like a red and white, just, I'm, I swear dog, we do not have a good red and white, like actually. Okay. So I guess we don't, uh, we have a Jojo's. Yeah, this is, this is definitely dope. This is a, a Jojo's reference. If you guys don't know for 400, I'm definitely scooping that up. A uh, dastardly stash, which is. It's like whatever. And then we have camping, which I actually like this one. I like the city one a lot. It's just you and it's just a little fire. I like it a lot for the shaders. We have tight smoke. This one is a banger. I know it doesn't look good now, but I promise you, like, especially with armor pieces, it looks super, super cool. And the really cool thing is this shader actually takes a, uh, it, it gives you a, a red or a white glow. The red one is the more prevalent one that I see. As you guys can see from here. Uh, let's actually real quick before I uh, start talking even more. Let me just switch out to switch the helmet out real quick so you guys can actually see the glow. So we'll do this one a good one. No, it's not a good one. We will do. I, w I fucking wish we had like hunters had better glowy bits because we really don't. I mean, this one's good. But this one also takes glows really weirdly. So on top of that one, we'll also switch to to this one, just so you guys can really see it. Because I I really want you guys to see the glow. It's really really good, and I really do recommend it because you can do some really cool things with it. So of course both of you would take fucking white. Hold on, I promise you guys. I promise you guys. I'm not making this up. Um, yeah, fuck it. We'll just do this one, you know, actually we'll do this one. Uh, if I, if, if it takes white again, then I'll just show you like one of the sets that I made a while ago. Yeah, here, there it is. So it gives you a really cool red and I might as well show you guys the set that I'm talking about. It's really cool. It's like a minotaur look, but as you guys can see, it looks really, really good. The only annoying thing is that like, there is some textures in there that kind of look like barnacles, like actually. So just be aware of that. Uh, we have heat shielded, which is, mm, it's a white and gold. It's just not one of my favorite white and golds. It's definitely good though. Like I, I just think there's other better ones, but this is definitely good. I do like the fact that the, uh, the gold is very, uh, rich, very, uh, saturated, but it's almost like an orange at that point. We have bloody tooth, which is a really good shader, a black and red one. It's a really good one and uh you this shader takes it gives you white a white glow and a blue glow uh, as you guys can see and then we have war brick which is also a really good shader this one the only unfortunate thing about war brick is that i think this is the best red in the game i think hands down the best red in the game it's just unfortunate that the red is an off color so be aware that like this red is only going to be in off colors which is why it's taking the arms. The arms usually take off colors for this, for the hunters and that as well. So it's the only unfortunate thing, but I really do recommend War Brick. It's also a really good, not, not a black, cause this is more like gray, but it's like a really, really dark, like gunmetal gray, which I really like. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Nothing crazy is happening this week. Uh, again, there's no story. We're done with the story until the last two weeks of the season. Then we get something apparently an event or something but i will most likely be running uh prophecy because that's this week's thing 
and I do want to get some prophecy weapons. But the other thing I will be making a post about this because I think it's important. I might end up getting a second job and my other job, which is I work at Vans. I might end up getting a different position, which means a lot more hours. So my videos on my main channel will probably decrease as in like, I won't be making daily videos anymore. I mean, I haven't been doing that in a while, but, uh, this, the schedule will most likely be, uh, two to three videos a week. Now I was doing really good before, but that was before I had the job. And even with the job, I was still doing like four to five videos, six, if it was a good week. Now it might just go down to a little bit more because again, I will be probably working like four to six days a week. Maybe we'll see. Um, we'll see, especially if I don't get the job at GameStop because I'm thinking about applying again, then I, it'll be like four to six. No, what was it? Uh, four, four to five days if, if I stay with Vans and I get the position. So we'll see. Um, I think once once this the main channel pops off and I see a little bit more growth to the point where I can like consistently pay bills with YouTube ad coming, then then I'll start like slowing down the, the time with Vans. But until then, I kind of have to make money. So thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, don't let this stop you from asking for videos and whatnot. I'll still uh, put it on the list. Actually, all of the exotic videos that got asked for. I already have a lot of the structure done. I just need to do the voiceover and then I'm pretty much done. So those videos will be coming up really fast. So thank you guys. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you guys later.